Alright, today we're going to change the front brake rotors on this 2001 Subaru Outback. And uh, the first thing that I've done is jack the car up and uh, supported it <clears throat> with a jack stand under there. And uh, now I'm going to pull the wheel off and uh, have a look at uh, the brake. Okay, so here's the hub with the brake caliper assembly. And next thing to do is to pull the brake caliper off. There's one bolt here that I've already loosened and one on the bottom. And these are just, uh, these require a 15 millimeter socket. So we'll just pull those off and then move the caliper up out of the way. Okay, so I've got the caliper up and out of the way. And uh, now I need to uh, pull the pads off. And those just slide out of the clips here. Like that. And then uh, set these aside carefully. And uh, I'll we'll have to remove the back one too. Um, but then there's two bolts on the back of this bracket that uh, we'll just uh, unscrew and then we should be able to pull the rotor right off. Okay, got the caliper bracket off and uh, needed a 17 millimeter socket to use on the brackets that were behind holding it on. And uh, so now that's off, the pad clips are still in there. And uh, now what we're going to do is um, take the rotor off, but through rust thank you through just through normal rust it's sort of uh, attached to the hub here a little bit so we're gonna get the uh, the rubber mallet and just kinda whack on this to try and loosen it up and then it should slide right off and we'll put the new one up. Okay here's the old rotor and the new rotor and uh, I guess they look about the same I thought. Okay now before I put the caliper bracket back on I'm gonna lubricate these caliper pins and I'm gonna use this stuff uh, this uh, Napa So Glide, this is for uh, disc brake caliper pins. It's uh, a nice high heat lubricant. Uh, Alright, I've got the first caliper pin greased up, and I think I know what the problem is. is the end of this uh, rubber boot has sort of a barb on it that fits in these holes. There's a groove inside here against this counter bore. And uh, the, uh, the rubber boot, you can see there's kind of a lip on that, and I think that's supposed to sit down and seat in there. And for whatever reason, these popped out or weren't seated in the first place. Um, so, okay. So I'm working on the uh, the other side here, and you can see that I've uh, I've taken the pins out already, and I've removed the boots from the pin, and I've inserted them into the ears on the caliper bracket. And uh, like I said before, the um, there's just a uh, lip in the rubber that fits into a groove that's machined into the into the ear here and that just sits in there and once it's all seated nicely then the pin goes through uh, with a little bit of grease on it. I've also put a little grease in the bore um, just, just to have some in there. Okay, so I'm putting the caliper pin in and I've put a little grease in the boot and it's important to not slide this in too fast or else there'll be air trapped in there and everything won't, won't seat right. Um, so sliding this in slowly is the key to kind of get the air out. And then uh, this end of the boot slides up over the lip that's machined in this pin and uh, keeps everything sealed and, and uh, free of dirt and water. Okay, got the caliper bracket back in with the pins sort of mounted, uh, with the boots sort of mounted properly now I think. And uh, the more I think about this, the more I'm convinced that uh, the garage that I had do this work uh, just screwed these boots up. And I was probably getting some uneven pressure on the calipers and uh, that's probably what caused my rotors to warp. So hopefully this will solve the problem and I won't warp these new ones. Okay, so there we are with the rotor on and the, uh, the caliper on and tightened down and uh, everything's good to go. Shouldn't need to bleed anything since we didn't crack the lines open. Uh, I think I'm just going to put the, put the wheel back on and uh, repeat on the other side. Okay, so I've got the rotors replaced and I'm out taking a test drive here. Going down this hill and gently putting the brakes on and you should be able to see no shaking in the steering wheel there. Um, and the key is to uh, bed these things in by uh, doing some nice gentle slow stops and uh, when you come to a complete stop 
don't sit with the foot on the brake or else the, uh, the pad material may uh, kind of embed into the rotor. Um, so there you have it. I think that problem is solved.